Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about how to find the Hike Vision camera in the network. I have my Hike Vision camera up and running, okay, via web browser. And here the camera is connected to this switch. Okay, so here is the cable that connects to the camera and another one connects to my computer. And here, of course, I'm powering the switch, okay? So let's show how it works. So basically here I have a diagram with the connection, my laptop connected to a switch and then connected to IP camera and a connection to the router that brings the camera to the internet. I can use Hike Connect or, or whatever I want on the internet, right? And I can also use a mobile phone connected to the router to access the camera. So that's the basic, basic idea, okay? So let me just come back here and close this web browser. And as you can see here, I have the laptop connected to the switch and connect to the IP camera. And I'm going to use a software here on the laptop to find the camera. So this is the Hike Vision software, the SADP. Okay, you can just you can download from the internet. It's a free software. And as you can see, the software finds the camera on the network. And here's the IP 192.168.0.64 for this camera. What happens here is that the laptop using the SDP software sends a broadcast to the switch, which sends broadcast to every single port that is connected to, and it finds the camera and returns the results here with the camera's IP, okay? And what's important here is to have your laptop in the same range of the camera. I mean, in the same IP range. You can check that by coming here and type in CMD. So you bring the command prompt here and then you type IP config. And here we go. I have my ethernet adapter and the IPv4 address which is 192.168.0.160, that's for my computer. So I'm basically checking that I have the computer in the same range of the camera, okay? Which is 192.168.0. something, okay? As long as I have the, the last digit here different from the camera, I'm okay to go. And as you can see, I have it, right? The camera is 0 0.64. And if you don't have the same IP range here, you need to put your computer in the same IP range of the camera because at first you don't have access to the camera. Okay, so you can come to your network. Let me just type here network and you can come here to the status. And let me just come to ethernet. That's the interface that I have connected. Change adapter options. And here I have my adapter, right? I'm connecting this one to the switch. Remember that I have here in the switch connected to the camera and here to the computer, okay? So basically the ethernet port here for my computer. So I right click here, go to properties and IPv4, that's the one. Double click and here we go. That's the IP address. So I can change the IP address here to match the cameras. Right, and doesn't matter the IP that I have here in the beginning, the camera will be found in the network when you use the SDP anyway. Okay, you just need to make sure that you have the matching IP range here. If it's different from your camera, just change it here and put it in the same range. Okay, and that way you can find your camera on the network, and then later you just double click and it brings the browser to log into the camera. Okay, then, then you type the IP address and log into your camera. So here we go. In this case, as you can see, is the IP 192.168.0.64. It takes a little while to load because the camera depends on plugging and stuff like that. And here we go. It loads the camera image. So that's all for today. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.